Take a deep breath. In. And then out. Have you ever needed to consciously focus on breathing? For a lot of us, that answer may be no. But for those like myself who have breathing issues, the breath is a precious thing that we treasure the experience of. Yet how often have we at times taken the very next breath for granted, sure that it would come? The very thing that gives us life, that oxygenates our blood, that allows us to speak the very name of God. What if I told you that you were always speaking his name with every breath, in and out? According to one theory, the Tetragrammaton, or YHWH, is actually an onomatopoeia, a word meant to describe a sound. According to the theory, when Moses dared to ask the Lord his name, God regarded Moses and simply replied with a breath, in and out. A single breath the name of our Creator. A word meant to describe a sound. The Hebrew language contains no vowels, so when this word is pronounced nowadays, we tend to add an A and E for verbal capacity, turning the word YHWH into Yahweh. But scholars have noted that the word is actually a set of aspirated consonants or breathing sounds. In a way, it makes poetic sense. As in the beginning, God breathed in. Then, in the exhale, spoke, Let there be light. Romans 1.20 states that ever since the world was created, People have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Everything in creation shows who God is. Would it not be a credible conclusion then that the reason why this is lies in the very breath God used to speak it into being, that because of this one act, all creation bears his mark, his name. So then, when God made Adam and breathed the breath of life directly into his lungs, he too became a bearer of God's name, his mark. In fact, this idea is even made clearer when we read the passage leading up to this act where God speaks and says, Let us make man in our image. This is where we get the concept of the Imago Dei, or the image of God. We are God's image bearers, and even more so than the rest of creation. But even so, we too declare his name with every breath, every groaning, every wordless cry. For we are his creation. So today, remember who it is that gave us life, that gives us hope, and whose name is ever upon our lips. Praise be to God for his glorious name and his works of salvation and grace. Until next time, may you be blessed, and may you walk in his favor. Amen.